I keep saying that I'm done with this sneaker model completely, but then a dope colorway comes out and it just pulls me back in. What's good guys, Ash Bash back again with another sneaker review and this is for the Night React Element 87 Solar Red. So if you've been following my channel for a minute, you saw that in August I picked up the Desert Sand colorway of this sneaker. It was the third release that they've done so far. They do seem to be milking it. I think they've done now two, two, four and three. Oof, that's a lot of sneakers that they've released so far. But I said to myself, I'm done after this first pair. I wore it one day and I thought, you know what? These just aren't for me, like comfort wise. It's nothing to do with the sole because the React is super comfortable. But I was like, the upper just feels a bit funny. But I realized kind of that I've been wearing these tight off white socks that go so well with the sneaker, but they're super tight on my feet. And it was making me feel a bit funny. I tried them on with other socks and they felt better. So I thought, okay. The Undercover collab came out. I kind of liked them, but I said I was ready. No, not for me. But that black soul though, that black soul, when I saw that, I was like, yeah, I'm in. And as Van Wiljam says, they're calling him the evil Ryus, and I, just, I like that name. I don't know if he coined it himself, but I like that name. So I was interested in them from the jump. And now I've got a pair in my possession, so your boy is happy. But I want to shout out first the dude that actually copped them for me, because when they released the Offspring, it was like first come, first serve. It was on like a Thursday or Friday, something like that. But whatever day it was, I was at work, not able to get down there. And my boy, I put up his Instagram, he managed to cop for me and I was super gassed. Uh, he's part of the group, The Soul Retriever on Facebook. Dope bunch of guys, always helping each other out, posting links to stuff. And if you can't cop, they can cop for you. Retail always, so safe, safe dude. Shout out to you, bro. Thanks for the shoe. But enough waffle, let's get to it. So these shoes come in your standard red Nike box. And it says colorway wise, black, cool gray and blue chill. Bit weird, it doesn't mention the solar red, but I guess maybe the blue chill is more the name. I don't know, odd one. But yeah, this pair here I actually got in a UK 11. Uh, I don't think, I'm not sure if they had it in store or not, but I know online, uh, Offspring were advertising that they was only doing like full sizes, the word half sizes. My previous pair, I got in a 10 and a half and even then I wasn't able to try in any other sizes because they were sold out in the other sizes so I was still already unsure what sort of size would work for me but I've tried this on already in the 11 and to be honest they fit the same as a 10 and a half to me which is fine so luckily I haven't got to change it for anybody or anything like that so I'll talk to you about sizing later but it's a bit of a interesting one but yes the shoes boy jeez so Boom, hair of the sneakers in all their glory and fire, fire flames, fire, fire flames. I would normally start with the upper with a sneaker and go around the shoe, but I'm going to start with this sole, this midsole, because that is the fire part. That is the bit that got me super hyped and super interested. There's desert sand that I got before. It was kind of the same again with the vault, but this just super fire. So yes, it is a full black react sole. If you're not worn any React yet with the Epic Reacts or these, React is super comfortable. To me, more comfortable than Boost. That's a tiny bit more comfortable. They actually feel like you're sort of bouncing around in them. Super nice. But yes, full black React sole going all the way around. Then you've got these red rubber hits, which you can see on the actual sole hair. These are the reinforced parts of the sneaker. On my Epic Reacts at the moment, you can see like this part of the shoe is pretty much still intact, whereas this is the bit that can wear away a bit more, but they reinforce the heel of the shoe and the front foot of the shoe because that's the bit that touches the floor most and gets the most wear, which is why they have these red pods and this little red overlay here, which is reinforcing it. So a great idea. And for aesthetically, it just bangs and it's looks super, super fire. So the upper of the shoe, still translucent, which is like one of the craziest features of this sneaker. What I love, love, love about the fact that it's translucent on this model is a black sole so you haven't got to think too hard when it comes to your sock choice because rocking the black sock is just going to go nicely with these anyways and you can get creative with sort of like a solar red sock or whatever whatever and it will all look fire maybe if you get sock the same color as this that will bang big time but a black sock's going to do you nicely 
But yeah, it's done in this um, synthetic nylon material. It's supposed to be pretty sturdy. It better be because it hasn't haven't got that much give to it. Uh, you can see the little black bits behind it, which is the reinforced portion of the shoe. And it's got a little swoosh here as well. When it comes to where the laces are and the eyelets, you get this sort of U shape here, which is done in this black sort of synthetic leather. Then going up further along the shoe, it is done in a decent kind of greyish suede. And towards the top eyelets, it is done with a hit of that solar red reinforced leather right behind that grey suede. Then the eyelets itself are black with some 3M hits. And I believe right behind this grey suede as well is also 3M, so a lot of flash going on with these shoes. Uh, also here, got a little lace spit in the middle here where the laces go through. That is also done in solar red. Nice little solar red hit to make the shoe pop big time. Uh, towards the back end of the shoe here, it says Nike React, obviously to represent this whole sole and all that of the shoe. Back of the shoe again, another little mini swoosh done in solar red. Then now you've got that blue chill colorway, which is a nice little blue, wrapping around the back heel portion of the shoe. Then you also get this sort of taped bit, which is reinforced around the back with the solar red stitching. Nice little touch and a red, solar red pull tab as well. Black, blue chill, and solar red. These colors go together so well. Uh, the tongue itself is translucent. And it also says Nike React on it. Where does it say? Yeah, right at the top of the shoe here. It says Nike React. And the laces themselves, black laces with 3M hits all throughout them. 3M flash, you dig. Uh, the insoles of the shoe are pretty cool. You can get them out. Cork vibes with the solar red Nike swoosh on it. Firefighter flames. So I'm going to chuck these on feet, show you what they're like. Let go. And we're back. That was a quick look at the Nike Element React 87 in a solar red colorway on feet. So as I said before about sizing, I am generally a UK 10 in most things, in most Nikes. But if this pair, my previous pair was in the 10 and a half, this pair is in the 11 and both hit me fine. I'm not gonna say my toe is like right to the front, so it definitely is some space, but it's not enough space where I think it would be an issue and I really can't see a 10 fitting me perfectly at all because this is kind of like what you get on a lot of Adidas releases where the toe box area here is a bit flat and because this material isn't like priming it where it's stretchy it just doesn't feel great on the toe so I can't imagine a 10 being perfect so I recommend at the very least half a size but I believe when I last went into Offspring on Saturday they didn't have this colorway but they had the two other colorways in store so check your local offspring wherever you live. I think there's one in, or I think there's one everywhere, pretty much in, in the UK. Check that out and see if they have any pairs you can try on so you can actually get the size you definitely need. I'd love one day to try on a 10 just to judge it and see what it's like, but I've got half size up and a full size up and both fit the same to me and they're both fine. So that's what I'd recommend for that. But yeah, tell me what you think of the shoe. Did you pick it up? Are you going to pick up any of the other ones? There is the Element React 55s that are coming out. I think they've released a couple times in America at the moment. There's a black and Tiffany sort of colorway one, which is fire, which I have my eyes on still. We'll see if I actually cop them, but super gas to get these, the evil rose, as we're gonna call them. That's the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Ash Bash Sneakers, and my Twitter is Perfection7. Upload sneak reviews as and when I pick stuff up, and I do videos every single Monday, waffling on about this and that, that and this. I'm out. Let it go.